Welcome. My name is Carolyn Ann Budgel. I'm a Lululemon ambassador and I teach meditation and yoga for everyone. In today's meditation, we will explore self acceptance and ways to soften the harsh judgments that we have towards ourselves. We'll go through some affirmations and mantras to really remember the goodness that lies within each and every one of us. So grab a cushion or a block and find a comfortable way to sit. Let's close our eyes and dive in. Take a nice big breath in and a cleansing breath out. One more time, breathing in. And out. Let yourself arrive in a space of no effort. Let your whole body start to soften and let go. Just knowing for the the next little while that we have together, nothing's expected of you. There's no one special that you need to try and be. Just really be in a space of no effort. Feel the natural flow in and out of your breath. With each passing exhale, let go of any little knots or bits of tension that you might feel around your eyes, your jaw, or your shoulders. Take both your hands and place them on your upper chest, on your heart center. And take a few breaths right up into your palms, right up into your heart. And observe all the sensations around your heart. Maybe it's been a while, maybe it's been a few hours or a few days since you've really taken the time to check in with your heart. And in many Buddhist schools of meditation, this kind of self-inquiry is vital to really look in to how you're feeling, to honestly assess how you're feeling. So for a moment, ask yourself, how's my heart? Observe what arises with gentleness and tenderness. Maybe you're feeling a little bit uh, sad. Maybe there's some stress or anxiety around your heart. 
perhaps fear, perhaps worry, blame. Perhaps you're already feeling quite light and joyful in your heart. Take it all in, never pushing any of your feelings away. For the remainder of the meditation, you're welcome to keep your hands on your upper chest whenever you feel disconnected from yourself, whenever you feel lost in discursive thought, or your hands can come back down into your lap. One Buddhist teacher, he says that it's truly in our places of vulnerability and in the places where we think that we're failing is where we can truly learn about self-acceptance and self-care. It's in our spaces of discomfort that we learn how to heal. So I'd like you to think about a way in which you get down on yourself, a way in which you judge yourself. It's very common for many people to be hard on themselves. And we really want to change those patterns. So go into the pattern itself and think for a moment on a way that you judge yourself. Notice how it feels in your stomach and in your breath. I know how uncomfortable it can be to really face the ways in which we don't think we're good enough. And just remember to greet these judgments, these self-doubts with kindness. This is a, a practice of inquiry and we're really working to change and shift these patterns. So you can keep that in the back of your mind. Now bring to mind a mentor or a wise teacher or a dear friend and think about some words of guidance they would offer to you knowing how hard you can be on yourself. What would that wise person say to you? Perhaps my friend you're good enough. Perhaps you can just relax as you are. Or perhaps, dear friend, soften this hardness around your heart. Everything's okay. Notice how you feel when you think about these words of consolation a dear friend would say to you.
There is so much goodness underlying this current of discursive thought. There's so much goodness within all of us. But circumstances in life and different situations that we go through and have to endure, they kind of cover over this goodness so that we forget. Give yourself a couple of minutes sitting here, relaxed in the jaw, the shoulders. And breathe in these words of kindness from your friend or your mentor. My friend, you're good enough. Relax as you are right now. You may find that your thoughts are jumping all over the place into the past and into the future. You may find that you're judging yourself for having these kind of jumbled thoughts. It's just something else to welcome in and to practice acceptance towards. Welcome in all that you are and all that you've been through. What really creates trouble for us is when we try to block out things that we don't like about ourselves. Or when we try to numb the pain Remembering that all that you are, all that you are is so important in this world. There's no one else like you, no one else that's been through what you've been through. And it's in our challenges and in our vulnerabilities that we can truly learn about ourselves and about self-love and acceptance. As we finish our meditation together, you might make a very small commitment to yourself to write down these words of caring, to write down this affirmation that a dear friend or teacher would say to you when you're hard on yourself. And return to these kind words 
in hard moments. The practice of self-acceptance is ongoing because our patterns are so strong to be hard on ourselves. Thank your heart for all it does. Namaste.